Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. We have visitors nearby. We've got some rogues right outside the base, just across the river. Um, yep, I can see at least three. So there's probably four of them there. Pretty cool location for them to be, I have to be honest. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm a little bit behind with some of my recording um, just at the moment, so I do apologise. I've missed uh, I've missed one or two days, I think now. But um, yeah, I kind of loaded the game up um, the last time I played. Um, it was one of those horrible rainy stormy days and I just wasn't feeling it I wasn't feeling the recording um, I did do a couple of things that really would have been nice to capture on camera but I'll show you those today um, once it's light enough to get out and about um, basically I built myself a little um, cougar cabin just the start of one anyway and there'll be more I, I'm, what I'm thinking of doing is the whole area that has the cougar in that's near us we'll just sit and watch these rogues for a second the whole area where the cougar spawns in close by um, I'm gonna put a couple of uh, little cougar cabins up there in different locations and um, we'll start taking out some cougars because we are gonna need some sinew that's weird seeing them so close I do love watching the fire though Yep, it's getting it's getting light now. We could coax them over, I guess. Um, it is going to make getting water a little bit tricky. Right outside the base, but you know we can head down. We can head down river. Gosh, I'm hearing all kinds of sounds. Anyway, um, I did a little bit of crafting as well um, when I was playing and not recording. So I've got a door to go and take up to the cougar, cougar building. Um, I made a few metal ingots, so we're up to 14 now. So we're doing really well for those. Made a few boards, still got a few pearls left. Um, used up some of the planks because we had a buttload of planks. Um, yeah, so that was good. Um, making alcohol, made a couple of um, molotovs so that we're ready for the next base raid. Um, we're doing okay for SVT. Uh, oh, and I made another lockpick, so we've got three now. Um, mm, what else have we done? Anything in the workbench? No. And the fire's sort of about halfway. Uh, I did a tiny bit of um, hunting as well and we had a, a crop of um, tomatoes so we're back up to 35 tomatoes um, we've replanted that bed with tomatoes and we had our potato harvest as well and that's replanted as well I can hear the chopping from the uh, from the rogues that's that's funny okay the two remaining alcohol are sort of ticking away quite nicely um, so I think what I'll do is I'll grab some water and just make sure we are fed and, and everything and I'll go and uh, show you the little cougar hut um, it's not far it's just up here on a rock and as I say there will be more I'll definitely put another one in place uh, let's go and have a quick look across the bridge because I don't know if we've got anyone nearby. You know, we've got those those hunters over there. Have we got any more in the valley or in the uh, on the plains here? Can't see anything. Sun's coming up. Looks like it's going to be a decent day. Bit of cloud. It's almost difficult to tell. That's a level three bear. I'm wondering if we should take down that bear because they are in the way I think I can get him from here apparently I can oh look at that oh oh my word he's right underneath us and the base is under attack that's inconvenient isn't it 
Let's get a uh, rifle out then. These guys are going to need a little bit of re-education, as they say. Where are you going to stand? Whoa, sorry. Just twitched the mouse there. I needed to get a headshot on that guy, really. Okay, that's one. And we've got the bear, don't forget. Right, we just need probably one more, one more shot in him. I just need him to come out from under there. Don't you run away from me. There you are. Um, he probably only needs one more hit. There we go. Right, so we've got a bear to go and harvest. Um, and two hunter bags. Right, must remember that. <clears throat> uh, let's do the bear first because reasons. Bit of a shame he came up the rock and hit the stairs. Oh, good amount of fat. That's well, not too bad, is it? Right, let's get these two bags then. So we've got this one here. I've got to be careful of the rogues because, you know, they are coming quite close. Now, where was him? He was here. Right, okay. Where was him? Not very good English, is it? I'm just going to wash hands down here. So that was a little exciting thing for first thing in the morning. But good to get that out of the way at least. Um, they could have been from Alpha, I guess. Oh, there's a crate there I nearly missed. Yeah, okay, let's go and cook this food and then we've got something to take out with us. Um, and how much damage did the bear do? Oh, nothing. Practically nothing. Oh, and there's an arrow in there in the base. That's funny. I like those sort of details when you get that happen. Um, right, let's put the fat away. The fat's quite welcome. Got to keep that stock of biofuel going. Um, casings are good, just so we can make some more ammo. Um, we're doing really, really well for resources. 83 cloth, we've got a bunch of cotton, we've got lots of biofuel. In fact, we should probably just make sure that the generator is topped up nicely um, before we head out. Yeah, I thought that would be enough. Oh, let's turn this light off. I'm not sure whether I want to aggro the rogues before we head out. That might be a um, sensible thing to do. Yeah, we've got nothing going on in there. I'm um, gonna need a little bit of food. Um, I guess we could we could have a bit of kelp. And um, let's just have one of those waters. And um, we should reload weapons. I did realise I had forgotten. I was trying to use the pistol more as well. So just finishing off that hunter, just needed that one last shot. Was worked out quite well, I think. Um, I might make a few arrows today as we're out and about so I'll get a bit of wood once we get outside right we're topped up um, yep we've got my uh, my door um, should we I, I might leave the rogues till later yeah I, I might leave them till later we've got that lovely gallery now of course hmm Okay, well let me show you the the cougar builds in and then we could always, here it is, just up here, that bear seems to love hanging around there, which is funny. Um, I'm just going to grab this crate, oh that was a good, that was a good crate, and we'll kind of walk around here maybe i don't know maybe take that wolf out he's stuck in the the cougars there yes we definitely want to use the cougar building today definitely 
The wolf's stuck in the tree. That bear's coming over. Let's see if we can run round this side and see if we can get up into the cougar building without alerting the bear and the wolf and the cougar just at the moment. We should be able to do it this way. I hope. Gosh, it's going to be quite a... Oh, it's going to be quite a route around these animals just to get to a building. Mm, he's coming. Let's go and get this bag and maybe he'll break off before we... before we finish. Oh, nice. Lovely. That's good. No, he's still there. I don't like leaving that ammo crate, but that's fine. I really wanted to show you the, the cougar building and if, if possible use it as well today. That would be really good. But I think that bear might be a bit of an issue. So, so here we are. It's just a simple two curved foundations. I did put a roof on because of the storm yesterday and two windows. So we'll put our door in. Um, might be a sensible idea to in fact leave that, that door off but there's the cougar. Right okay let's grab. I guess we could use the SVT. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this, I have to say. Oh my gosh. I know I'm damaging... I know I'm damaging my own building here. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, we'll have to get the... It's not left much. We'll have to get the hammer. Um, and make sure we get that repaired. And I'll bring up, if I remember, Oh, look at this, our first cougar of this season. Nice. Let's put that away, actually. Oh, kitty. Right, let's take a screenshot. Um, yeah, I'll have to bring up the um, alloy sheets, actually. That's what I was going to say. Oh, nice. Good. So that worked out well. That, that was in a good spot. So that's where I've put that one. I'm going to build another one um, just up here maybe even well maybe not on that bit of the rock maybe on this rock would be a good spot because we can kind of see over to the to the bowl over there which is where the cougar hangs out quite often if it's not as far down um, as there um, so we can always have more than one definitely Uh, yeah, but I'll uh, I'll go and get the alloy sheets and let's get that upgraded. Actually, can we go and get? Have we got a? Yeah, there's a rabbit there. Where was that wolf and that ammo crate? I wouldn't mind getting that. I don't like leaving that. Um. Right. This is. Oh, too many slightly too many shots but I'm trying to just save a little bit of ammo we've got plenty of shotgun ammo I could have taken him down with a with a shotgun shell but it's too easy sometimes fun to mix it up keep things fresh I'm so pleased we've got that uh, sinew that is really good Okay, what I might do here then is, let's see, we've taken out everything apart from that bear that's a bit annoying to be honest. Let's see if we can do anything about that bear. We've got this lovely spot here, those rogues are just across there. Um, no, he's fine actually, isn't he? He's not really in the way at all. Let's go and wash up and get some food on the go I suppose put this sinew away most importantly 
Um, so I'm just going to run down to the water here and wash up. I think I'm far enough away from those rogues. Yep, should be. Yep, I mean if they come over, they come over. That's fine. Let's see, I wonder if we can get this crate before they notice us. Okay, let's go up here. Let's put this stuff away because it is very important. Right, okay. Um, drop you in there. Uh, we could have another steak. Put the apple away. Five sinew. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So, we'll grab um, the hammer. We've got a few nails. Um, Let's split, um, I don't know, half of the board, uh, of the aloe sheets for now and we'll go and upgrade that uh, cougar building while it's clear of cougars up there. Um, and we we'll probably need, I guess we can chop some wood up there. Um, let's take a couple of nails. Who would have thought we'd be running out of nails? Uh, oh, and, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to make some arrows, didn't I? I have found one. Ah, good. Good timing. Right, how are we doing for food? We need a vegetable. Um, well, we could have a tomato. A bit of a waste. And we'll take another drink of water. Let's go and do repairs and upgrades. And that's a really good time, I think, to, to get this done, as I say, because the cougar has been taken out. We shouldn't get disturbed up there. Yeah, so I think it's um, uh, kind of an interesting idea, actually, to um, just dot those things over in those sort of common cougar areas. And then we can just run over to those locations, jump in the in the cabin, and be safe from the wildlife while we uh, take a look at what's going on. All right, good. So, first of all, then let's do. I reckon probably an upgrade. Um, I think that should repair all the damage. Yes, nice. And these the floors are, are going to get the most damage, definitely. Right, and how about these walls? Yeah, that wall didn't even get touched. Hmm. Now, do I want to upgrade anything else? Or shall I just keep this for the, for the walls? Uh, for the uh, floor? And the stairs, because of the what we get uh, when we get bears rundown around here. Yeah, let's do the stairs. Nice. Oh, and maybe, maybe the door because, yeah, I like the clanging sound. Oh, let's just do, let's just do a few more things. I'm just conscious of um, these walls here, um, uh, definitely on this back side at least. Um, if we get a, um, have we got enough to do both of these? We do, no, we don't, one off. Okay, well, I'll leave that for now. Um, if we get a bear up here, for example, and the bears do climb up um, onto this rock, um, he will hit away at the, at the foundations and um, the walls. So having all of that upgraded, I think it's not a bad idea. Okay, we'll bring some more plates and finish off the rest of that upgrade another time. Um, I guess we could chop a bit of wood while we're here and get those arrows made. That would be cool. can't believe I've got three lockpicks burning a hole in my pocket and I haven't gone anywhere to try and find a lock crate. That'll be for another day. We had cougar fun today. I can't believe that was our first cougar of the season as well. Just haven't bothered up till now. I've just found all of the sinew that I needed in lock crates. All 
Right, we may need some sticks. That'll be two, four, six, eight. And then we'll make our arrows and that will be a, a result. We've done everything we wanted to. Such a lovely area this is. Sorry, I was just looking at the scenery. I guess we could kind of head over in, in this direction. Um, there is a, a second cougar spawn further along. Um, we could always go and check that out. Um, what did I see? Did I see a vegetable then? Hmm, not sure. I always love this broken rock arch here. I think that was a lovely uh, addition to the landscape. So if we put another cougar cabin up there, or we could put one here, um, again it's got good views over, over the bowl here, which is where the cougar hangs out. I've got a level two bear there. Oh, did I hear? No, that was my footsteps again, I think. I thought I heard running. We don't know where, we know where one of our sets of robes are, but there are potentially another two sets of robes on the map, so I do need to be careful. Just making sure everything is reloaded as it should. Yep. Okay, it's looking quiet along here. Let's carry on. Oh, there's a cougar fire, uh, a cougar fire, um, a rogue fire. I bet you there's a lot crate round there as well. So that's the second set of rogues. Okay. That's fine. We'll kind of uh, head over in this direction and see if we can see anything useful. Just going to just take a look over there though. Any lock crates or anything? They're right up the top there. Oh, blimey. Nope, not seeing any lock crates. Um, oh, there's a bear. Um, okay, let's run along here. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've got his attention, haven't I? Let's just have a little look along here. So this little path here is sometimes good as well for lock crates. What have we got down there? Anything? Well, there's a little ammo crate. We'll grab that. Oh, we should put that back on the belt. And I guess we should start making the arrows as well. I forgot about those. Um, right, arrows. Let's make... Nice. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Run! Wow! He was just sort of milling around there, wasn't he? Well, that was that was cool. I'm going to anger another one here. We should be able to outrun them. <laughs> oh my god, there's a bear as well. Right, I'm keeping an eye out round here for crates. Just want to get those off off my tail. Wow, that was cool. That was pretty badly uh, badly done, though. I wasn't really watching. Um, okay, let's just have a look down here and see if there are any crates. Um, we've run into rogues quite a few times in in this area, so it always makes me 
a little bit nervous being around here and it's so dark all the shadows the the tree cover you know it's um oh yeah we've got rogues down there as well okay good good to know right let's keep out of that that area for now then so that's three three sets of rogues on the map so we know where all three are okay that's good right let's have a look up here and see if we can see a lot crate in the uh in the grass it's getting dark um, whoa, right, uh, level three, something that way. I think that sounded like a wolf. Nope, it was a bear. Oh, there was a berry. Damn it. Uh, okay, I'm going to try not to miss anything around here. Oof all kind of sounds and things around me right okay so just want to get to a point where I can see a little bit of a space around me you know and and just get a good view of any loot without any animals being nearby but it is proving to be quite difficult okay any crates up here no I found them before on the path just here yeah it's not going to be our day for lot crates I don't think um, but we're gonna head back now anyway uh, we'll go this way I reckon must be the quickest. Should I stop and get a little bit of wood here? Is it safe to? I think so. Yep. Good. Okay, I think our um, lock crate hunt's going to be for another another day. There's a wolf I didn't see hiding in the tree there. Okay, let's carry on then. At least this is a nice empty run back towards home, I think. Should be uninterrupted. I'm leaving lots of bags and goodies lying around, unfortunately. Just want to kind of get back towards home. We haven't done well on loot today, but I think that whole cougar thing this morning more than makes up for it um, bringing home five or six sinew is not a bad day's work in my opinion sinew is just um, needed for a lot of the high end things if we want to make any more um, solar panels or wind turbines or do any upgrades even we're going to need sinew so we can start farm in that now. It's a shame there isn't a, um, a good uh, lock crate spawn sort of over here on this, you know, grassy bank. Just here would be perfect. <laughs> Just up from my base. There's our cougar, cougar cabin. That worked out to be um, in just in the right spot, I think. Yeah, we're gonna need, let's see. Oh, there's a bear. Well, we can hop onto the bridge if he comes over, so we should be fine. Yep. Let's go, let's let's head in. Um, let's see if those uh, rogues are still there. Yep, I can see one of them wandering around. Nice. Okay. So we just need one more plate, and we can upgrade the um, the last two bits of the cougar cabin. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I think in in 
Hindsight, I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's grab the alcohol. Uh, let's put that away so we don't shoot anything in our own base. Tomatoes are growing away quite well. Um, those need watering and feeding. Let's grab potassium and some water. And drop you in there. And I think we're going to need two. Yeah, two water. And we've got a brilliant view here of the rogues. They sound incredibly close. My we uh, rogue watching window. <laughs> it's a good time of day. Um, don't know what's happening down there with those guys. Okay. Let's put uh, potassium away. Let's have a look out on the balcony. We should be able to get a better view of them. So is that that guy that's making all the noise? It's him there, isn't it? Yeah, and there's another one over the back. So definitely at least three I can see there. Yeah, he's, he's squatting down. Uh, can we see any activity down at Bravo? Not really. There's a wolf right down on the, the end of the thing there. Oh, look at him in the water. Cheeky. It's kind of cool having them so close though. I, I do want to get over in the gallery and um, give them a battle, but they'll be here another day. It'll be fine. Um, mm. Alright, if we grab... Well, I'll tell you what, I was going to grab some glass. But we've only got 35, and if we get an attack, we might need to do some repairs. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh dear, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, if we grab, um, well, we'll get these water canteens. I'm not going to go and fill the, the water up just yet. Um, I was going to make uh, those Molotovs. Oh, bit of trouble out there with our rogues. I don't know what they're fighting. They're right over there. Gosh. So he's quite quite a way separated from the uh, camp, isn't he? Do we think that might have been Alpha coming down? Or... Hmm, not sure. Right, okay, what was I doing? Putting some stuff away. Um, yep, seeds. We've got to put those upstairs. Those in the fridge. Uh, we can make a fuel brick. Mm. I used to go and get myself a lovely cup of tea. Uh, pop you there. We've got plenty of power. Um, let's um, use some of that power up, actually. We're doing really well on lockpicks, so I don't need to, to craft myself a lockpick right now. Let's split you in half, and we'll do a big batch of potassium. So we're going to need some nails if we want to do that last, those last couple of um, upgrades to the cougar cabin. Uh, let's put this food away in here. And we should eat. We'll have a, a liver. We'll have a tomato. And we might need a steak. Not hungry enough for a steak. We'll come and get one in a moment then. Um, we'll have a couple of berries, I guess. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We'll come back for that. Let's put the wood away. That wasn't a, a bad amount of wood either. Um, yeah, ha ha let's use this just for a second. Um, so what have we got left to upgrade? We've got a couple of curved windows, haven't we? So let's see. Uh, oh, no, we don't need nails to upgrade. That's good then. So I've got those and I've got this. We'll just keep those to one side then. Take those back and go and upgrade the uh, the last little bit of the cougar cabin. That'll be good. Put these seeds away. Can I... Can I hear people wandering around close by? Can't see any lights. Let's have a look out here. Sorry for the darkness. 
much easier to see what's around without the lights on though. Nope, okay. Jump down here, that's good. Well, I think that's probably going to be a good place to leave the episode. Um, we know what we're going to do first thing in the morning. We'll run up and upgrade those last two walls. I wasn't going to, but I think that's going to get a lot of um, a lot of hits from animals, I reckon, over time. So anything that gives me a bit of uh, leeway with having to keep running backwards and forwards, doing repairs will help. We've got three lockpicks. I think in the next one we should head over and do our very best to try and find a couple of lock crates. And we've got those rogues outside. Um, now whether they're going to come over, make their presence known, I'm not sure. But we'll uh, we'll definitely hit them up. I think. Um, yeah, make them re rethink their location, their build location. Okay, well, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.